It is a busy morning on the weather front. I've got a severe thunderstorm warning that I want to show you this morning. This is in effect for really Jasper County. Now technically it still includes parts of Polk County, but the storm is moving out of Polk. So Jasper County under a severe thunderstorm warning until 615 this morning, and this is primarily for hail that could be up to golf ball sized. We've had pea sized hail reports so far. Hopefully it stays that small, but we do have enough indication on our radar that there could be some larger hail included in this storm. It's moving through Mingo and Colfax right now, but up towards Baxter. Most of that storm will stay north and west of Newton, and then eventually it'll move into southern Marshall County. So heads up for you south of Melbourne. It's basically going to travel parallel to Highway 65. This storm brought a lot of heavy rainfall to the metro area this morning. Des Moines Metro proper is dry now and will likely stay dry through the rest of the morning. We've also got more storms in northern Iowa. These are now north of Highway 20. One little cell moving through Hamilton County, dropping some rainfall, a bit of thunder and lightning just to the north of Jewel. But the rest of the storms are over the northern part of the state. And we will continue to see the coverage of storms go down later this morning. There's been quite a bit of lightning, but thankfully, for the most part, they have behaved themselves aside from the hail that we had here in the metro area and also a bit of pea-sized hail late last night in Fort Dodge. So most of the day is actually going to be dry. It will be somewhat cloudy and then we warm up to the 70s, but there are more storms that come in later tonight. We've got a level two threat out for much of the state. Remember, we use a scale of one to five, five being the highest possible threat. So we're at a level two. We could see wind and hail with storms that develop later on tonight. We also may get an isolated tornado or two, but I think that threat is a secondary threat. And then and we also may see a bit of flash flooding just depending on how long heavy rain sticks over one particular area. These storms will be lingering into tomorrow morning. So let's go through Futurecast hour by hour. I want you to come over to your TV screen and pay attention to the timing of this. So notice we will be dry by lunchtime and most of the daytime hours are dry. The storms later on will fire up between 5 and 7 p.m. over western Iowa, and that's initially when we could have some large hail and maybe a tornado or two in that western and northwestern part of the state. By 8 o'clock, it is arriving in our western counties, and it will eventually form into a line this line of storms will move through the heart of our area, including Ames and Metro Des Moines between likely 9 p.m. and midnight. We will see heavy rain with that, and then it transitions into mainly a heavy rain, thunder, and lightning threat overnight. That'll stick around through, say, 7 or 8 a.m. tomorrow, and then the coverage of rain slowly starts to go down as cooler temperatures move in. Now, the rain will not fall evenly. It won't be distributed evenly, but many spots could get an inch to an inch and a half with isolated two inch spots possible. Our whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast shows cooler weather that will move in behind that with low 60s on Thursday. Friday will be in the 50s. Saturday, gross, cloudy, windy with a high of 44 and it will be near or below freezing on Saturday, Sunday and Monday morning.